Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 11 of Win 1, Take 1. Now in this episode, we're going to be taking on, well, the reigning world champions in uh, real life, oh sorry, yeah, real life, Australia, and uh, the four nation champions, New Zealand. Who's the better side? It's debatable. I mean, New Zealand seem to have, well, they've got the wood over us currently, because they won the four nations, but a very, very weak inside. So, um, I don't know if you can say 100% that New Zealand are a much better side, but they're definitely very, very close, I would say, um, at full strength. New Zealand side, though, um, they have a few good players, and I think they're especially good in the sense that we haven't got a lot of their players in our side, because, I mean, a, a lot of Warriors players there, and um, the rest are all spread out in the clubs. There's a lot more Australians playing, we'll put it that way, so obviously we've probably got a lot more Australians in our side currently, plus we've played State of Origin teams, that sort of stuff, so... Uh, New Zealand's haven't got that much of an opportunity here. But uh, Corey Park is going to come up with a nice little play there. I suppose he's not renowned for his grubbers, but I mean, goal kick. So I suppose he can put in a nice little kick when needed. And then we just take it to the line there. Brett Stewart takes a, a beating for it, but Manu Vatavai hits the gap and he ends up scoring. And I believe it's Jiraiya Yi who ended up leaving the squad for Ryan Hall. So, um, yeah, we've got an Englishman in our slide. So there you go, English people. Um, if you had been complaining, I don't really know because I'm so far ahead in terms of recording this. So the potentially there's some English people going to get some English people. You know, you got one. So 6-0 is 15 minutes in. First and throws an intercept. Isaac Luke would go straight under the post. Now, my thought process for that was that there was a player standing there. I don't know who it was. Brett Stewart, maybe. He said he was in the middle, but I wasn't going to throw the intercept. Uh, sorry, throw the offload. And then last minute, I just had the urge to throw the offload. And obviously there wasn't enough weight on it. And, you know, there we have the resulting um, try. And then Sean Johnson, left-footed, um, ends up kicking the goal from right in front. Now, I wanted to show this clip in particular. I mean, nothing awesome really happens. It's a lengthy clip, but, like, nothing crucial happens. Uh, Mentoring picks off an intercept there. Well, something will happen now, but there was an intercept there. And Mentoring just, I don't know, I don't know how to describe that, just absolutely destroyed whoever it was there. But um, Justin Hodges is going to race away here, and he's going to score. Now, I wouldn't say Hodges is someone who can just, like, see the a little bit of space, and, like, he's he's gone. Um, probably, he's not one of the faster centers, but um, we'll definitely take that. It's just how the game is. And, like I said in the previous video, he wouldn't be someone who I'd probably pick in the centers. I'd probably have Josh Morris in that over him, but um, on this game, his stats are ridiculous. You just can't leave him out. So, um... Yeah, we just had to put him in there. Now, Sam Burgess is someone who is quite good in this game. We've seen a number of times him putting on some big hits. First one was just, oh, of the episode was just there. Maybe it's maybe it's the last, who knows. But Fufu Mormo finds himself in a gap there. Cameron Smith dies with the ball. But we've got Isaac Luke, a little quick uh, play of the ball. And Trent Merrin's in space. No fullback at home, but they're going to come across and make the tackle. I don't know who that was, um, but that was a great little effort there. And then Isaac Luke tries to follow it up. Just a dive over from dummy half. And fortunately, it doesn't really work out too well for us. Um, so it was held up, and that's where sort of the momentum sort of stops at that point. But it's not where the momentum is going to stop entirely, because we're going to continue attacking here. Going down the right-hand side, Cameron Smith takes it to the line, gets it, uh, Brett Stewart in a bit of a uh, gap there, uh, in the center position for some reason, but um, he was doing the job there. And Ryan Hall, had there been a little bit of better pass, potentially could have scored there, but the pass just wasn't strong enough. But, you know, there was a chance we could have scored, and we didn't. And then thankfully for us here, New Zealand can't capitalize on... A bit of an overlap they had here after the siren had gone. That would have been very, very cruel to concede there. I think it's only happened maybe once um, to me conceding a try like that. And unfortunately, happened in a live commentary. I can't remember which one. I know we played the Rabbitohs in a Warriors game. And I was like in shock. Uh, but fortunately enough, it didn't happen just then. So 12 6 had ended, I believe. And just the three players as we didn't reach 20 points. So 16 3 and 4 is who we're going to get. Now, Ben Madalena, a great player, incredible player. I don't know if he'll be featuring for us to the strength of our side currently, but he was in the previous we want to take one. He was a good player, but the game didn't seem to rate him as highly as what I do. So, um, yeah, like I said, just probably not strong enough for this side. But in real life, I'd definitely take Ben Madalino. Now, Sean Kennedy, a lot of controversy in real life about him at the moment. Uh, when this video's going up, I'm not sure what the outcome is. But, um, yeah, I'm not really going to comment on that. But uh, Kristen Inu is the last pick. And uh, I love Kristen Inu uh, from the Bulldogs. I mean, the Eels, everything. Just a uh, little smirk he used to do for the goal kicking. Um, that was pretty cool. But uh, he's so hot and cold. If he could, If he could have just kept it together, put a good run of form like he did in 2012... I mean, it could have been, it could have been anything, but it just didn't happen for him. And uh, he's playing Super League at the moment, but he won't be featuring in the side. Move on to our last game. Obviously, you've already seen who it is, and it's Australia. There's a team lineup, and he's them running out. So uh, Thurston leading them out. This is like the third or fourth time we've played Thurston. 
I think it's the third time this series, actually. Uh, we didn't play the Indigenous or the NRL All Stars or anything. So, third time. Uh, can we get a third win over him? We hope so. Now, uh, a great start to the game. Nearly went a little bit shit there. But it is going to go shit any second now. Isaac Luke gets it to Cameron Smith. Gets tackled with a... F and then a forward pass through the offload there. It's Corey Parker. Fortunately enough, nothing really happened. And once again, we just split them. Just sort of going one way and then coming back the other. Uh, I think maybe it was even Ben Teo both times. But Ke uh, Jonathan Thurston shows a lot of pace here. Um, he's got too much pace, in my opinion, on this game. But I suppose that what what makes him um, really good. Because, I mean, it's not really a stat for footy smarts in this game. So... Got to make him good somehow. The man of Adivai absolutely crushes that player there. I don't know who it was, but just uh, destroyed him there, really. So 15 minutes in, going to the right-hand side here. Teo's going to take it to the line. Gets an offload away to uh, Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith's going to reach out and get the ball down. So well, that's the opening points of the game. Come to Cameron Smith, and uh, you know probably the right fit. The uh, Australian captain scoring against Australia. And then, you know, probably the other best player in the world for Australia, or well, representing Australia, scores against Australia in terms of um, kicking a goal. He's got points against Australia, is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, yeah, two uh, important players uh, involved in that try. Now, Inglis nearly involved in an intercept just there. Thankfully, Ryan Hall turned around and uh, jumped on that ball. Um, I mean, half a second later, and that was uh, try time to Australia, I think, because, you know, they've got good enough wingers. I don't know if that was Brett Morris or someone, but it would have been a try for sure. Now, taking it to the line here, throw a cut-up ball to Ryan Hall, and Ryan Hall's in the corner there, 51 minutes in, so it is 10-0, a tough kick to come, but um, I thought that was a really nice try, due the fact that I saw that there was, obviously, a short, don't shorten numbers down that side. Um, my only thing about this game is that you throw a nice cut-up pass, and it either results in an intercept, or it looks kind of shitty, like, if that was real life, that would have looked so nice, um, but yeah, obviously, it didn't work out that way. Now, in hindsight, looking back at this clip here, and even at the time when I was doing it, I wanted to sort of cut back inside, but I didn't know exactly how to do it. And we're going to be made to pay here. Thurston misses the last tackle in English, but I can't blame Thurston there. Just uh, letting, letting, I think it was Gallon or someone, through a gap. You just can't do that. You can't do that to players um, of, like, international caliber. Like, you know, especially for Australia, like, a really good team. Um, yeah, the, the offload was top-notch. English, just the palm. We, we've seen how damaging he is for us, and, you know, he just made us pay. Thankfully, they didn't make us pay too much, because we ended up picking up the win 12-6, uh, and I will say, that is the last proper game for this series. It's not the last proper episode, but it's the last proper game in the sense that we're going to be taking uh, taking home some players, because the next episode, we're just going to be taking on Season 1 side from Win 1 Take 1, so that's pretty interesting, and then we're wrapping up the series. So, uh, yeah, I think it was 4-16 and, like, 17 or something like that. And those picks were Justin Hodges, who he picked up in the game against Queensland. So, last episode, I believe. Um, obviously, great, great stats. And Luke Lewis, uh, he's someone who we'll be bringing into the side. He's a really good player on this game. And in real life, he's pretty strong as well. Um, so, I've no problems with Luke Lewis. Watmo, we had him in the previous. We want to take one. In fact, we might have even had Lewis as well. Uh, but Watmo, not that great in the game, I don't find. Um, I mean, he's okay, but nothing special. He won't be playing for us. Anyways, that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you can leave a like, it'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, uh, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT, Facebook page in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.